new video. Now before I continue on with this video, just wanted to try a different hairdo. Credit goes to my friend Stephanie who was sporting this look and I loved it on her so I figured I'd try it out. I think it's super cute and I'm loving it. Now as you guys may or may not know, I just got back from my Kelowna trip and I made a three part vlog if you haven't watched them yet, make sure to go check them out. So now I'm back at home and I'm reunited with something that I want to show you guys. I am more in love with this thing than I am with my new hairdo. That's how big of a deal it is. And it's something that I want to include in my future videos. Now as you guys also may have known, <laughs> my birthday was in the beginning of May. Fast forward exactly two months, two months from my actual birthday, one of my students worked really long and hard on this thing that I'm about to show you. The best handmade thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Not only is it from a favorite video game of mine, but the, the work that she put into it is insane. This kid's got talent. I'm just in love with it and it's the cutest thing ever. It was worth the wait, let me tell you. And it has a name. Guys, I'd like to introduce you to Spudky! If you guys aren't familiar with the Super Mario franchise, if you're not, where have you been? In the game Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, there are these little guys and they're the cutest little fat star you'd ever see. This thing was made entirely of those, I forgot what they're called, like the Lumi bracelets. They're made out of like the plastic rubber bands and that you make bracelets. But she made it entirely out of these rubber bands and it is the perfect proportion of the actual thing in the game. It's insane. This this girl is going into grade 9. Her name is Sarah and she's insane. Like, thank you. I love you so much, Sarah. I just want to shout you out. Hi. She also made me this birthday card before I got Spudky and look at that. Talk about foreshadowing. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life of an inanimate object. And I'd like to have it in the background of my future videos or have it beside me or holding it, something. I think this deserves a lot of appreciation. Definitely gonna be putting it in these videos more often. I came up with the name Spudkey, Spudkey, S -E I can't spell. S-P-U-D-K-Y. I wanted to call it Spudky because it's a very unusual but cute name, especially for a star. Cosmo was a bit generic. Anything having to do with like Luna and space and stars and all that stuff. I thought it was too generic, but I wanted to go a little different with the name Spudky. I think it just has a nice roll to the tongue. Oh, let me tell you, she also stuffed it with with fluff which makes it ultra soft underneath all the rubber band but like still it's squishy it's just my favorite thing and I will treasure it forever so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that uh, introduce you to spud key and he'll be in my videos in the future thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave me a big that thumbs up. There's something with my words that I just can't deal with today. Spud Key and I will see you in the next video. So goodbye, stay weird, and we'll see you next time.